Uh, oftentimes people help people out by talking about shortcuts using the DS4. So like L1 and square to click on something. Um, or while you're sculpting, press triangle to swap between positive and negative. Things like that. But uh, those shortcuts are a bit different with the move controllers. So with the move controllers, um, they have all, most of the DS4 shortcuts work for the move controllers if you know how to translate them. So um, if someone talks about L1, uh, that is the shift button and the moves have a shift button as well. So if you hold the left triangle and then press use the face button on the on the primary controller with the imp face, then you can open up a tweak menu. So uh, shift or L1 translates to the secondary triangle on the uh, faceless imp for the moves. Um, and the rest of the face buttons are on the other side. So L1 and X now scopes in there. Um, and L1 and circle or shift and primary circle on the moves. And uh, for stuff like uh, swapping, toggling between two modes, like uh, positive and negative, uh, it's the, the secondary sphere, which is the tip of the move controller, to the primary base, which is the bottom of the move controller. So if I tap like that, then that swaps between them. Um, and those are the most common uh, shortcuts you want to translate. Uh, so that should hopefully help some folks. I'd like to thank BGA Ports Authority, Woodsense, Shadow of Callus, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.